as Christians, it's quite okay to believe in miracles. But there are some things that require manpower. There are some things that require you as a person to work for it. I grew up as a Christian, so I know the power of prayers. But there are some prayers that is just madness. Guys, watch this video that I'll be inserting here. And uh, let's watch it together. When I come back, I will tell you my own opinion. They drag my phone. What's somebody go drag my phone around? Why are you talking so? <laughs> okay welcome back guys uh, you already know what we do here my name is Chicks, and on this channel i bring you trending topics and uh, i talk about it i give you my own humble opinion i'm not biased i talk straight from the heart this is a video taken from nigeria africa just say, let's say africa in general so you can see a house a building on fire like on fire the building is blazing you can see the smoke you can see that the fire is coming out and then some intelligent nigerians some prayer warriors felt like the best thing to do is to start praying and speaking in tongues at moments like this guys i don't have any issues with prayer i'm a christian i believe in the powers of prayers but there are certain things that don't require prayer this is a burning building the best option is to first of all get a fire truck but we live in nigeria so let's take that out of equation but there are buckets there are tanks that has water best option take as many buckets as you can get start pouring fire and start pouring water into the fire to quench the fire but no we decided to start speaking in tongues and uh, calling on god to come down and do what what will God do? How will God answer that prayer? The only way God can answer that prayer is when you are pouring the water, you can now ask God, God, please let this uh, water quench the fire. That's the only prayer that will be meaningful. That's the only prayer that when you are saying, I will be like, okay, at least they are walking and then they are also praying. But standing still and then praying, speaking in tongues and hoping miracles happen. And out of the blue, the fire will just stop. That is not the best way forward. Then again, watch this video of uh, china this is one of the tallest bridge in the world and it was built by chinese people in china watch the video and uh, when we come back we'll compare we'll compare just watch the video with oh shit! china actually built the bridge high into the sky because it so is too see, difficult to build see this building? it was once ridiculed this by western experts that it could that not it be built even after 300 years but, you see how many but it only took to china, china three years to complete the watching, project watching, and open it to watching, traffic you see? this is what it is other the tallest bridge in the world this is called bay panjian bridge the total length of the bridge is 4400 feet across the u-shaped grand canyon the height from the bridge deck to the valley bottom is 1850 feet taller than the empire state building what's even more shocking is that there are no piers in the middle of this bridge it uses 224 cable stayed cables to hang the entire bridge deck 1 to 800 feet in the air such a bold operation is really unexpected from a distance the bridge looks like a giant dragon spanning the sky showing china's infrastructure strength to the world with a proud appearance i have to say that china's infrastructure is really amazing so welcome back guys use this opportunity if this is your first time coming across my channel you know what to do give this video a like and a subscribe don't forget turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified whenever i drop a new video china is building one of the tallest bridge in the whole world tallest they are building infrastructures that will last them years but what are we doing in africa we are taking children to church instead of taking children to school to learn about engineering and all the things that will help them teach them skills we are taking them to church to learn how to pray and that's the problem that keeps repeating itself the cycle doesn't change why am i saying the cycle doesn't change during our father's time they were praying during our grandfather's time they were praying during our time we were praying and then we still don't learn we are taking the future generations to church instead of taking them to school 
teaching them the necessary skills that they need to build the better Africa that we all want. This is what is going on in China. China has one of the best infrastructures in the world and they didn't pray for it. They worked hard for it. They believe in prayers. There are many churches, there are many uh, Christ, uh, religion in, in China. But do they depend on their religion to build infrastructures? No. Do they depend on their hard work, their ability to build infrastructures? Yes. They depend on their engineers. They depend on their welders. They depend on people that are hard working, people that are skilled to build infrastructures. But in Africa down here, we depend on prayers and we depend on our politicians that are just as bad as it comes. So guys, you've seen the first video of people praying for God to quench the fire that is burning a building. And then you've seen this Chinese infrastructure, the tallest bridge in the world. So in your own opinion, let me know down below in the comment section. Do you think that Africa will get to that stage where China is now? If you think so, how many years do you think it will take us Africans to get to that certain stage where the world will see us and say, wow, we've got a big infrastructure? Or do you think that we will still be wallowing in our prayer warrior era? We will still be living in the era of pray and I believe in God for that to happen. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. I already know what my thoughts are. We need to start cultivating skills. We need to start teaching kids what is the importance of engineering, the importance of having skills. And then let's mellow you down on the whole church and praying. Yes, prayer is good, but prayer without work is rubbish. I'll be ending this video here and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, Give this video a thumbs up and uh, I'll appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.